take your time here because this is really important and it's not intuitive or as clear. You can collect statistics at the column level or the index level, but it's a little bit trickier than that. So let me give you some great real world experience here. As you can see above one and two are our examples. Collect statistics on table name, column, column name. That's collecting statistics at the column level. Here's collecting at the index level. Collect statistics on table name, index, open paren, and whatever column is the index. But you will always collect at the column level unless it's a multi-column index. Now, stay with this. I've got some examples here for you. In our first example, collect statistics on employee table column, employee number. That's actually the primary index. It's a single column index. So anytime you have a single column index, you always say column because sometimes indexes are dropped if they're secondary indexes and those statistics could be gone. So the bottom line rule is if you're going to collect statistics on any single entity, you always use this column format, even if it's an index. In the next example, we're actually got a column here that's not an index. Collect statistics on employee table, column, department number. You know, we're joining these employee tables to department tables on DEPNO. That's the join column, not an index in this case, but we join on that column. So we're going to collect statistics at the column level. The first two examples are column level statistics, even though one's an index. And in our third example, this is exactly where you would collect statistics on employee table, index, open paren, first name, last name, close paren. If you were to collect statistics at the index level in example number A, collect statistics on employee table, index, open paren, close paren, employee number, Teradata would actually say they really mean the column level since it's a single column. So you wouldn't get burned by that, but I'm just giving you some information that might come valuable to you so you can understand why most of the time you collect statistics, you'll see that column level syntax, even though it's an index. This is important, so I want to make sure you see a lot of examples. And the last example is going to really blow your mind. Collect statistics on employee table, column, depth, no, single column, not an index. That's how it's done. Collect statistics on employee table, column, employee number. That's the primary index, but it's a single column index. That's the way it's best done. Remember, if you put index in and put the column name around the brackets, it's still going to be able to translate that for you. Teradata would do that, but this is the best way to just do it right off the bat. Now, collect statistics on employee table, index, multi-column, first name, last name. That's how you do all multi-column indexes, primary, secondary. Collect statistics on employee table, column, open paren, employee number, dep no. You see, these two columns are going to be used in the where clause of statements together all the time. So that's why sometimes you're going to actually collect at the column level multiple columns because you know it's like bread and butter in that SQL where clause. And lastly, this is interesting, collect statistics on employee table. Hey, is that going to collect all statistics on all columns? No. That's how you refresh statistics. So let's look at this. We collected on DEPNO, EMPNO, the index, first name and last name, and then the combined columns of employee number and DEPNO. When we load more data later, the rule of thumb is about 10% of the data changes you recollect statistics and you do so by saying collect statistics on the table name 
In this case, it was employee table. And Teradata says, you mean those things we collected on previously? And you go, yes, only the stuff we've collected on in the past. And now the statistics are refreshed and you're all set to go. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information.